Original Brasil, on vous l'avait promis, nous on est venu sur Rio pour profiter de l'ambiance de la Coupe du Monde, mais également pour rencontrer certains artistes. On a eu l'opportunité de travailler un petit peu avec Amador Pérez et de l'interviewer pendant une exposition qui se déroule sur Rio. Donc je vous laisse en profiter. So, uh, Mr. Perez, thank you very much to be with us today. Okay, I thank you. Um, could you talk a little bit about your, your project and, and, and your way of seeing art? Yes. Now I'm doing this exhibition uh, from the memory of one single image that's a drawing I have made in 1981. Okay. And, and here I work uh, mainly the idea of loneliness. I mean, my relation with the memory of this image and your relation with my lo loneliness. Okay. I mean, your loneliness and my together. So, something that we, could, we cannot divide, we cannot share. Of course. Something that belongs to you and that belongs to me. So, through your exposition, you're helping us seeing our own loneliness, yes. the way you experienced yes. it in, what, in That's 1901. That's one main uh, idea. Uh, because I think that art, it's a very individual experience. That's true. And in this way, uh, the artist do make art for himself, first of all. First of all, for yourself. As a, as a, as a needing, a vital needing. And after that, he, he wants to, the artist, he or she, yeah. uh, wants to share this experience, of course. to communicate and to, to live through this relation, through this act of uh, passion and, and love. I, I believe that. It's, it, it's look, look a, li a little bit like a cliché, but it's not. It's the truth. Yeah, I mean, we totally understand the fact that through your experience and your way of seeing things, you can communicate with others and, and, and give them a little bit of your own feelings. Yes. So in a way, no, it's not cliché at all. Yes. I totally understand yes. what you say. For about me, it's very interesting uh, during this, the, the, the World Cup uh, in Rio to see people coming from other countries with completely different um, experience in their lives, different uh, civilizations and, uh, and cultures, and to see how they react uh, uh, to my work. Absolutely, that's also why we are here. We went uh, a lot of streets here in, in, in Rio, and it was that communion of seeing people sharing their own experience with others and uh, and uh, of course I, I believe you see many many strangers stopping through uh, the gallery entering and say okay what is this and it, it's also a part of the experience of that's being uh, uh, in Rio. Th that's, th that's the question. The, the exhibition is called Quantos Quadros, two different words uh, beginning with K, Quantos, so how much, how much? Quadros, paintings. Yeah. Uh, uh, the idea of uh, a singular uh, work of art that can multiply in your imagination. Yes. So uh, I'm working with this uh, idea. But since we, we have met, uh, I have thought about the relation between football game and the, the game players yeah. at the arena. And, uh, and we hear in this arena and exactly. uh, in, in the game, in the football game, as in any other game, you have very strict rules. Yeah, rules, very settled. In art, thanks God, we don't have it anymore, but we, we had in the past. But it's still today that we, we live a, a, a life, very, very runny life, mm -hmm. very S the speed is yeah, very, very fast, but of quick. Course, yeah. no? uh, I intend with my work to stop a little bit people. To, to freeze have, in time yes. and have Take a, time a different analysis, look of course. At, yeah. no? Look deeply, feel the image, try to understand it rationally and by heart, and give me the answer. That, that's the idea. 
uh, like, like, like in football. You, you, you see, you have Neymar, you have all the fantastic uh, uh, game players. They obey the ru rules, but their way of living, their way of thinking, their way of, of, of playing is absolutely different. Yeah. Their styles are totally different. It's still individual. Individual. Of course, we get and it. This, they, not, they cannot share with nobody else. No, absolutely. And the, the big audience that's assisting the game, they understand that completely. No. Not by thinking. By thinking too. Not after, but First they respond act. immediately, yeah. physically, emotionally, to that act of, of gain. Absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit about uh, the art life here in, in Brazil and more specifically in Rio? We've seen many different uh, ways of expressing themselves. What do you think that art can give to the society, for example? I, can thi I think that art can give everything we need. I mean, uh, to reflect, to think about life in itself, uh, and to share. This is a very <laughs> delicate question, because when you share, you share what? What you, really, you are really sharing? Uh, a thought, or uh, a painting, or a drawing that has a value? A very specific value yeah. in the art market. How do you think this system of art? Yeah. So, art can give us freedom to think, yes. freedom to feel, and it's a true. very revolutionary feeling that is uh, not to have rules in your life. To the think whole exhibition is very rule, ruled. To have basically four walls, three, because one, one is a window. Yes. Uh, that I love this window, because it creates a kind of eye of the gallery for the world, from outside and from inside. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have three, three walls, and some, some paintings on the walls. It's very traditional, but I hope the images I'm projecting make you to think art as uh, uh, for me, the perfect way for you to feel free, inside and outside, for you to purpose uh, a free relation between people, between things, between inside system and outside system. That's a beautiful way of seeing it. Thanks. Mr. Pierce, uh, thank you very much for uh, you. your experience and uh, your feelings about your work and uh, how people can receive your work and understand it or not. That's a yeah. very interesting. Spot. Voilà, j'espère que vous avez profité ce petit moment avec Amador Perez. On a également voulu vous proposer quelque chose d'un peu différent avec euh, Maxwell Alexandre qui lui est skater professionnel sur les rues de Rio. Donc je vous laisse profiter de ses talents et des quelques mouvements qu'il nous a offert. Uh, Maxwell, thank you to be with us today. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you discovered the skating? Eu eu descobri o o patins foi de uma maneira meio comum, que foi através do do jogo de videogame. Eu queria ser um personagem de videogame que usava um patins meio futurístico e era um super-herói. Eu sempre tive essa, essa fascinação em ter uma vida um pouco mais como se fosse uma aventura. E por querer ser esse personagem, eu procurei o, o patins de street como uma opção de, diferente de vida. E how long ago uh, was that you discovered this passion? Uh, nove anos, nove anos atrás. And um, I believe that, do you train a lot? Do you, do you have some uh, special events you follow? Atualmente eu ando de patins um pouco um pouco menos do que eu gostaria por conta da da faculdade, dos trabalhos, mas eu costumo andar aí umas quatro horas por semana e não tenho competido muito também por conta da 
da, dos outros trabalhos, mas eu tenho produzido bastante vídeos, é, gravado bastante entrevista, feito bastante fotos, mas como se fosse um, um, um trabalho também com o Patins, por conta dos patrocínios e essas coisas. So absolutely, you're still a student, you go to university and uh, you have like this uh, real work, side work, you say you take photos, but um, do you prepare for some special events, some, some special competitions? É, competição atualmente eu não tenho ido muito não, mas eu tenho feito alguns, eu tenho participado de alguns eventos, é, por exemplo, dentro da, da favela da Rocinha, de onde eu venho. Tem uma ONG de esportes radicais com um projeto social para as crianças e de vez em quando eu, eu faço algumas demonstrações para o pessoal da comunidade, para as crianças é, ter uma referência do que é o patins e poderem começar a praticar essa modalidade. That's another question I wanted to ask about um... Uh, your special life, you say you come from uh, a favela called Rosinha. So, how is the life over there for a skater like you? And uh, especially, we wanted to know how the community see your work and the special sport, the special street art. É, a aceitação é muito boa porque a ONG já é um projeto respeitado e, e por ser um dos únicos patinadores da da comunidade é, praticando um esporte tão diferente. É, tem um reconhecimento muito bom, as pessoas se identificam com, com o que eu faço, não só não, não por ser o Patins, mas por ser um, um jovem que conseguiu reconhecimento fora da comunidade. E é como se eu estivesse representando de fato a Rocinha, então as pessoas é, se identificam com isso. As crianças me veem na rua e ficam gritando, ah, o Maxwell do Patins, não sei o quê, e vêm atrás, perguntam, querem andar de Patins também. Eu acho isso muito gratificante. So you kind of uh, represent a, a way for the children to get out of of the favela and to have uh, the opportunity to do something of their life other than like the common uh, uh, other sports. I believe that here in Brazil, football is like the first way of the children from the favela to get out of uh, this. Uh, situation and you kind of provide another way for them to think uh, how do you see yourself as a, as a, as a model for the children? É, eu vejo isso, esse fator que você falou do futebol ser tipo a primeira opção na favela isso ainda é mais forte você tem milhares de quadra e duas rampas para praticar patins de street ou qualquer outra modalidade radical é, e eu tento eu tento fazer meu trabalho hoje em dia até mais eu vejo que as crianças se inspiram no, no que eu faço, mas eu tento mostrar para elas que o patins é só, é só mais uma ferramenta para você conseguir outras coisas, entendeu? O patins para mim abriu outras portas, tipo, eu consegui entrar na faculdade, é, eu conheci um grupo de pessoas muito bom, que, que tem um trabalho muito, muito bom também, então eu tento mostrar o patins como ferramenta de inserção social. Então é, é, é isso que eu tento passar para a molecada, entendeu? Eu falo, ó, oh, vocês estão andando de patins? Está estudando? Estou estudando, então beleza, é isso aí mesmo. Então, isso é uma very muito boa maneira de ver isso, e eu acredito que você vai ser capaz de mostrar e de abrir outras portas, outras portas para alguns filhos da favela. Boa sorte com isso, Maxwell, obrigado. And uh, it was really nice to meet you today. We can wish you the best for uh, your sport and for uh, and the fact that um, they can be able to open other skate parks uh, near the favela. So um, thank you very much to be here with us. And, Obrigado. Uh, Gostou, né?